Hey folks, see Rachna Ranadi here, and I welcome you all to a short and sweet live stream. I know uh, many of them are going to focus on RCB versus SRH right now. My son came uh, running, and he told me that I think one of the best scores has been uh, seen right now. I, I even don't know who was batting, but uh, some 295 runs are on the board is what I understood from my son. So I'm sure everyone is wanting to understand what is the scenario for uh, IPL match. But I think equally important, a shade more important right now for us is to understand how Israel, Iran and all these tensions going up in the Middle East, they can impact India and especially the Indian stock market, right? So what we are going to do is we are, we are going to try and keep this stream very short and sweet. Uh, we will be talking about primarily what I feel about this uh, whole scenario. Uh, today, I'm not going to take any stock specific questions per se. So let's jump in directly uh, so that we don't waste a lot of time. So I'm going to present my screen. All right. <clears throat> so first of all, we have to understand what happened. This was on April 13th that in, on, in the late hours, 300 aerial attacks or 300 aerial threats launched from Iran. And I mean, the best part was that out of 300 aerial threats launched, 99% were intercepted. Kya baat hai? I mean, this is amazing. The funny part, I should not be using the funny word if it is about a war, but I'll tell you the funny part was that maybe FIIs had understood about this beforehand. Other US markets had also maybe they had tried to gauge what if something of this sort could happen or not. Because if you have seen Friday, we saw some selling US markets last three, four days. They have they had already anticipated this coming maybe. And that was the reason why US markets were not performing well. Uh, it was the Indian markets which were not really reacting to this in advance. Because even me and my team, when we were, you know, trying to gauge what is going on with VIX, VIX is nothing but a volatility index, that was pretty flat till yesterday. But uh, when we came across this news and today when the markets open, obviously as expected, VIX or the volatility index had shot up. Okay, so this was about the war and uh, to what I, so of course, I'm not a geopolitical expert, uh, but what I understood was uh, this was more of a retaliation kind of thing from Iran. And uh, for those who know about this, Israel and Iran have never actually been in a war directly. They have fought a shadow war. Uh, if you can see here, I've also mentioned they have fought a shadow war or, or often called as a proxy war. So basically, Iran would support some other country and they would, the other country would actually you know, fight with Israel. But directly, they had not entered into a conflict, which they did this time, right? Now, the big question is that, okay, if this war continues, something like Russia, Ukraine, then how does it affect India? I don't think as far as other commodities are concerned, it's going to impact us a lot. But yes, there is one commodity which can really, really impact us and that is crude oil. Okay. So for that, we have to understand something about the importance of Strait of Hormuz. Okay. Now, what is the Strait of Hormuz? Now, if you can see here, this is this small narrow point. This is if you... If you want, uh, can, I'm just quoting some important points here. This trade of Hormuz, why is this important? Because 21% of the global petroleum liquid consumption, basically 21% of the world world's total consumption about oil that passes from this trade. Okay. Now, what is important is that this trade is more or less controlled by Iran. Now, if Iran actually decides to choke up this the straight, it can then impact the crude oil. Okay. Now, if the supply of crude oil gets hampered, can I say it is going to be like demand is more or less similar, supply will decrease. And if that be so, the prices of crude oil may shoot up. Okay. If prices of crude oil shoot up, is that going to be a good sign for our Indian markets or a bad sign? Obviously, they're going to be a bad sign for the Indian market. Now, right now, we are talking only about Iran and Israel. The worst can come up if Saudi also decides to participate. As, as I am doing this live stream, to the best of my knowledge, there are no signs from Saudi that they are going to support either or of the country. But Saudi is 
is like one of the biggest exporters of crude oil and that is the reason why it we will have to keep our fingers crossed that saudi doesn't you know take sides they don't participate in this because if crude oil goes up there are going to be a lot of pain points for us are there going to be multiple sectors which can get impacted obviously yes which sectors could they be there could they could be something like uh, you know uh, paint companies aviation tile even even something like rubber which is also dependent on crude oil right uh, so all these sectors can get negatively impacted so i think this is one big area and everyone remember about this this is again pretty crucial right so one is about the state of hormuz second is saudi arabia so we have to understand that these are two important points we have to keep a check on crude oil prices we should ensure that they don't go up crazily right uh, i will talk about the crude oil point after the entire presentation is over as well so keep on watching uh, right so important point about crude oil coming up towards the end of the stream uh what else do we import uh so israel uh, imports from israel stand at 2.3 it stood at 2.32 billion dollars in fy23 what are we primarily importing it's pearls precious uh stones precious metals uh precious uh, precious or semi-precious stones some fertilizers electronic components main is okay i mean for us crude that is what we are also importing uh so nothing really scary other than that but yes one important point here is israel's military exports to india its largest defense buyer have not been affected by the war in gaza as well so basically what what am i trying to portray here is that even when gaza uh, war was going on still whatever we were buying from israel that had not gotten affected so if that be so hopefully if this tension continues for a few more days ideally nothing will impact i mean the defense buying should not get hampered okay so let me just uh, re-clarify this point uh, what am i trying to say israel's military exports to india its largest defense buyer so as far as israel is concerned we are its largest defense buyers that had not been affected by by the war in gaza as well so even when gaza war was going on israel supplying us something related to defense did not get hampered so if it did not get hampered at that point in time there are less chances that it may get impacted right now what are we buying from israel we have bought military hardware worth 2.9 billion dollars over the last decade including radar surveillance combat drones and missiles so again our relation with israel is also important our relation with iran is also important right so this is where again the foreign diplomacy comes into importance right so even if I'm talking about India-Iran bilateral trade, that was $2.33 billion during FY23. During the period, India's export to Iran was $1.66 billion, which grew at 14.34%. And import from Iran was $672.12 million, a growth of 45.05% YOI. But of course, if you see import versus export to Iran, we are exporting more to Iran versus what we are importing from Iran. So as I mentioned, our trade relation with Iran is also very important. So Again, will we keep a similar stand that we are neither taking side of Israel nor are we taking side of Iran? We are taking the side of peace. Uh, let's see uh, if the same stand that we did for Russia, Ukraine, whether India would keep up the same stand uh, for the conflict between these two countries or not will be interesting to watch, right? Now, this is this has got nothing to do with stock market impact, but uh, you know this was crazy when I saw this. Uh, it felt like seriously. I mean, this kind of air traffic. If you see across is Iraq and Israel, this is just one flight that we can see, uh, but maybe it is about some internal, I, I don't know, but Israel, nothing flying over Israel, uh, just one hour and see how the overall air traffic got diverted because of this conflict. Now, if that be so, again, airline companies are forced to reroute, they are either sus forced to suspend their services. And again, if that be so, does it create a pressure on the airlines yes why because their fuel cost increases if they have to take a longer route in that case uh, of course their profitability can do, go down but generally airlines would then pep up the prices uh, and then ultimately we will bear it but of course if it was like a last minute change that they had to do in that case airlines will have to bear the brunt of a longer route which will hamper their profitability okay now coming to nifty levels of course i have drawn few key lines here if you see here nifty is in a zone so if, even if you want to see it in uh, a, I, I will show you the day point uh, in trading view but something interesting in an hourly structure as well if you see a nifty hourly chart 
we saw a double top it came down to this range again a double top came down to this range again a double top this was friday by the way uh, again again you know it started pulling off so uh, maybe this is where the fir selling happened quite a bit uh, we are going to check the daily chart of nifty as well if i were to talk about brent crude oil okay if you see here it is currently consolidating at this level somewhere around the 89 dollars mark so again uh, will be interesting to watch whether it is able to sustain at this level or not uh, hopefully it doesn't take a big reversal from here it is at a good support right now hopefully if things cool off then it may even cool off below this but right now seems like it may stay somewhere around 90 dollars per barrel right uh, so this is this is important uh, as far as uh, the brent crude oil chart is concerned and nifty hourly chart is concerned now if i take you to uh, nifty daily chart now this is a long term chart that i've drawn where is where is a support as per the long term this is at 22040 important levels i want everyone to note these important levels 22040 okay so even if i round it off psychological level this is 22000 okay let's check what is the scenario for pivot where is the pivot pivot is at 22187 so let us round it off, round it off to 22200 okay so 22000 on a lower side immediate support 22200 okay let's see where is the 50 days moving average 50 days moving average is 22122 kya baat hai so one more time everyone please revise it along with me where is the pivot i am rounding it off so that you can easily remember 22200 where is the 50 days exponential moving average 22100 and the long term trend line i'll, I'll remove this this is starting from where for the december 23 okay almost a 5 to 6 months trend line that i have drawn this is its support around 22040 so 22000 all in all what is the important point that i'm wanting to mention is that number 1 can nifty see some fall possibility is there we can't we can't deny that possibility right number 2 even if it starts falling what can be some key levels crucial levels to check out 22200 as an immediate thing even if it cracks below that 22100 seems to be a good support and psychological support at 22000 so all in all if you ask me uh, i mean should we be a little bit careful right now yes i am not wanting to jump and uh, you know build up more and more positions right now i would want to go slow a little bit and you know then i would want to see whether i want to you know average more or not 22000 is more i mean is the most important support level that i am looking at if unfortunately if it starts going below that which i don't see as of now okay just 10.001% possibility if it goes below that then we will see what are the next levels but otherwise i don't see any reason why should we even be checking the levels below that right now whatever we have seen right now is factored in please understand israel initially did something iran retaliated everything has happened right now everything has been factored in right now now unless and until some new news comes in it's not going to create a, a, a negative impact on the market right so i think it's a, it's more of wait and watch uh, don't go full in right now it's i don't think this is a great time to you know pump in a lot of money uh, because if things go from bad to worse then we would want to keep some money in our hand uh, if things get better from here then well and good uh, so will be important to see what happens at 22000 22100 and 22200 okay uh sumit is asking do i expect a 5 to 8% downfall no sumit like if you have you know been in the stream for uh, since since the beginning i as i mentioned three levels immediate 22200 followed by 22100 and then 22000 is what i'm checking out thank you heman ji for the super sticker uh so i hope everyone has understood this uh, we have to we have to be a little bit cautious right now don't jump into the market be a little bit cautious right talking about crude oil uh i mean the timing was like really amazing those who are a part of my 21 days fundamental analysis challenge we did a deep dive into crude oil we understood what is the difference between us oil uk oil which should we check uh, in the indian stock market we understood which sectors have a positive impact if crude oil goes up then which sectors it can have a positive impact if market if crude oil goes up, 
I mean, if it does not, then what happens? If it stays flat, what does happen? We did talk a lot about that in the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge. I did ask some follow up questions on that, and that challenge is challenge is going great. Uh, so if you are a part of Invest in India community, you you might have already taken up that challenge. Every day we are taking up new videos. We are kya baat hai? Prabhunath is saying that was very helpful. Thank you, Prabhuna. Uh, so those who are a part of fundamental analysis challenge, fantastic. Those who are not, and if you want to participate right now, it's a bit difficult. But for 20, the the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge is just a part of the entire Invest in India community. And this Saturday we are going to have a superb session with Mr. Samir Arora. He is the founder of Helios Capital. It's going to be a Zoom session where we are going to discuss about the Iran-Israel Israel war impact on our Indian stock market. I'm going to ask for his views. I'm going to ask for his views even on metals and you know metal stocks. Uh, I think this this is going to be a fantastic session which is going to come up on this Saturday. But that is only for our Invest in India community members. So if you're still not a part of Invest in India community, uh, Puja, if you can just share the link of uh, the community and Puna uh, Salu Karaki 21 days techno analysis challenge. So if anyone wants to participate in the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge, even right now you can, but uh, there are a lot of challengers right now who are at the first position, second position, third position already. Uh, so you may not win the prize just for the sake of gaining more and more knowledge if you want to you know uh, participate in the challenge why not uh, but uh, getting the top slots will be a bit difficult how can you participate i mean how can you join the community it is simple you just have to check invest in india slash uh, so www.nas oh okay puja has already shared the link c a r r nas 50 is the coupon code but that is for a yearly uh, membership only and if you want to just see how uh, you know how things are working for a monthly membership for a monthly membership we have rr20 as a coupon code which you can use uh, and that will give you a 20 percent uh, discount uh, uh, no ranji ji if it's a, a monthly membership we have rr20 as a coupon code which is live right now uh, but if you're interested i mean if anyone who is interested uh, for a yearly membership for a yearly membership we have a 50 percent discount coupon code running uh, and as I mentioned, right, uh, this 21 days challenge, you will still be able to, you know, watch the videos, participate in the challenge. Not sure whether you will win the prize or not, because for you, seven days are gone almost right now. So balance 14 days, you'll have to pray that others are performing at their worst possible limit and you are at your best. Then maybe, you know, something magical can happen. But I'm sure you are going to gain a lot from this community. Uh, people keep on discussing about investment ideas in the community. Uh, they keep on, uh, you know, sharing some useful resources. It's it's a very, uh, you know, fantastic community. Even I enjoy going through their messages. Very active community, right? So uh, we will pin the link of our 21 days fundamental analysis challenge as well. Uh, this would be definitely a good investment for everyone, is what I believe, uh, because the latest uh, we we club it up with videos which may be a little bit old, but with latest news we try and club up the learning so it is fun and uh, you know people across 20 plus countries are a part of that challenge so uh, are a part of that community as well so it's fun learning from each other uh, but yes overall i hope everyone has uh, understood about the impact of coming back so right israel iran war uh ranjit ji is saying i have already availed that offer fantastic ranjit ji okay uh any quick questions? One or two minutes. I'm just going to quickly check. ATC benefit for this investment. I wish. <laughs> Thank you, Harshan. Defense stock outlook, looking at the war situation, this sector can definitely have a positive impact. You said that during election years, markets make a bottom in Jan, Feb, March and a top in October, November, December. What does that mean? We will make it up possible. I mean, me, uh, the, the analysis that we had done, definitely this was one of our Thursday live stream analysis. And if that be so, there is a possibility that we may see a top in of. If history repeats, yes, that is what we can see. 
uh, do I need to go through the existing courses to be able to absorb info in the training? No, 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 Tarun. Uh, I mean, we do provide videos. You have to watch the video and then answer questions. So even if you have not done my courses, you will still be able to understand what is happening in the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge. And plus, as I mentioned, every third Saturday, we arrange guest sessions and uh, it's a Zoom meeting. So you can directly interact with the guest as well. Geofinance is much more PE compared to its peers. What does it indicate? Manju, I can see that you are a member of our channel. I, if you are a pro investor member, you should go and check out the geofinance video. Your, your uh, you know, overall uh, understanding should have been there. I have made a detailed video about geofinance uh, in our membership. To Samir Arora, please include his views on BJP manifesto. Um, Ranji ji, I avoid talking about, uh, you know, political parties manifesto per se, uh, because, you know, then people take it more to a political angle rather than the economical angle, though I totally understand that if there are certain things written in the manifesto and if they, they are saying that, okay, we are going to spend this much on infrastructure and if they actually do it, then yes, why not? It will be a positive sign, but you know, some people then go off track the moment any political party is involved. So I try and avoid that. Harshal is saying knee-jerk reaction in the market then back to normal. See, quite possible, Harshal, if other if other countries don't participate. Thank you, ma'am. I'll do the I'll I'll do the work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, those videos are available on YouTube, but the problem is that, you know, uh, YouTube videos till date I have posted like 1,200 plus or something like that. But out of those, which I feel sometimes did not perform that well, but I know for sure that they contain a lot of knowledge. I have handpicked 21 such videos, okay? And uh, th those are presented in the challenge, but applying that knowledge which you gain in the video in today's scenario is what we have done that differently, right? If I need to view particular stock in pro-investor video, it's very difficult to find the stock. Can you provide some easy solution to view the stock names? Uh, Ashwin, if I rename the videos, then the names are evident. They are seen on the screen. So that is the reason why we have to... I mean, originally I used to name the stock in the video, in the video title itself. But then the pro-investor members only started complaining that, you know, if then the name is visible to everyone, this, that, uh, don't disclose it. And that is the reason why I started doing Stock of the Month, Jan, Stock of the Month, Feb, and on, and on, and on. So that is a problem, but it will be like, let me see if I can do an Excel sheet or something like that and share it. That is doable. I'll write this down. Manju is saying, yes, ma'am, this challenge gave good knowledge during this war news came. Kya baat hai? Happy, happy to know about that. Uh, what time is some, is the Samir Arora talk? Uh, that will be uh, disclosed in the community, Abha. Uh, most probably by tomorrow, we should be able to share all the details about it uh, in, in our WhatsApp community, which is there for Invest in India. What will be the impact of war situation on oil and gas companies? Oil companies should have a positive impact. Okay. Okay, ma'am, my query is that for how many days holding a stock will be called an investment? Otherwise, a trading under speculation under the consideration of restricting for work. Oh, for government employees, if you're doing an intraday, that is not allowed. That will be treated as a speculation. Majority of the government, com government companies, right? Uh, so if you're an employee of some government company, major, many of the government companies have this rule that you're not allowed to enter into some speculation. So intraday is not permitted. Uh, and uh, if you're holding it, then it should not be a problem. Like more than even, I mean, if you're taking a delivery of the stock, then then that is not speculation. Intraday is not allowed. f and will also not be allowed in some cases. 
you apply for invest in india will i know stock of the month yes stock of the month uh, video is also part of invest in india membership so invest in india membership you get stock of the month same same stock of the month which is for pro investor members uh, plus the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge which is going on one uh, one zoom meeting every month which is there with one industry expert coming in <coughs> and four blogs uh, per month it is it is more than value for money is what you can take from me i think this is it it's almost 25 minutes i had targeted 10 to 15 minutes uh, but yes also took few questions from you all i hope you enjoyed this short and sweet stream and uh, thank you puja just uh, you know club up the information about the 21 days challenge uh, in the pinned comment and so that anyone who wants to enroll for the membership for invest in india they can do that easily right i hope you enjoyed today's stream i hope you have understood about the key points about the war uh, and you can manage your portfolio accordingly right so in short just to conclude in short just to conclude if you are an investor don't worry right now keep out a watch for 22200 22100 and 22011 okay i hope you enjoyed this one abhay saying enjoying the challenge thank you abha uh thank you everyone i'll see you in the next one till then take care jai hind and bye bye